There's no better way to finish a gym floor than with a Kymotion system from Kyvac. Whether using the original Kymotion, the Kymotion 2, or the new Kymotion Flex, this fast ergonomic process offers tremendous advantages over watering cans or other common finishing processes. For starters, workers and cleaning equipment remain out of the solution and on a dry floor. Plus, the precise dispensing of fresh finish through the rear spigot combined with the weighted T-bar guarantee an even coat every time. And the large 10 plus gallon capacity accommodates up to two five gallon pails of finish for fewer refills and higher productivity. And perhaps best of all, it's very easy on the back. Before we begin, let's look at an overview of the gym finishing process. Applying finish to a gym floor with Kai Motion is a simple, straightforward process. Just place the Kai Motion at the far end from the natural exit to the gym and lay a long, straight bead. Then move down and away from the path of the other worker as they use the T-bar to spread the bead. Wait by the Kai Motion until the T-bar begins to run low on finish to spread. Lay another bead when needed and repeat the process until the job is complete. When you're ready to begin, prep the gym floor following the gym finish manufacturer's recommendations. Fill up the Kymotion tank with product. Then, put the lid back on the container and set it down outside of the room. Now, move to the point farthest from the exit. You'll want to work your way toward it as you apply the finish. Open the valve and apply the finish by walking to the other end of the room staying parallel to the boards. It's often best to use two people, one to apply the finish and the other to spread it while watching for uneven beads or missed spots. As you approach the other side, gradually close the throttle, bringing the wax flow to a stop. Kick the side of the Kai Motion to shake any residual drops of finish onto the floor. When you first start using the T-bar on the finish, always run the applicator along the back edge twice. Walk forward while pulling the bar behind you. The use of a weighted T-bar applicator is preferred to maintain constant pad pressure and even coats. Kyvac recommends using a 24-inch T-bar. Do not apply pressure by pushing down. T-bar is weighted to give just the right thickness of coat. Simply use the handle to pull the bar along and move the finish. Keep the T-bar at a 45 degree angle while pulling, snow plowing the finish towards the dry side of the floor. The T-bar should overlap halfway during each pass. You'll know it's time to lay another bead when your snow plowed line narrows to within two inches. When more product is needed, simply lay a new three to five inch bead along the side of the remaining two inch bead. Next. Snow plow the two inch bead and the excess will flow into the three to five inch bead, creating a new line. Don't lift the bar during floor finishing. This may cause bubbles to form. Simply pull the applicator around as needed. When you make a turn, don't pull the finish to the end. Without lifting the bar, slide the head up and around and pull the solution back out. This will keep the finish from running up against the baseboard. To wet the area from the baseboard to the bead of fluid, take the applicator all the way up against the edge of the floor and pull forward. No matter how much prep you do, you'll always have a small amount of debris left on the floor. As long as you use the T-bar to draw finish away from the wall, the fluid will catch and carry away any unwanted dirt or dust along with the bead. Eventually, you can use a rag to pick out any significant amounts of debris from the collected solution. Towards the very last row of the application, you may want to use a watering can to precisely regulate the last bit of finish applied onto the floor. If you are left with a puddle of excess floor finish and it is oil-based, simply wipe it up with a disposable rag. If you're applying a water-based finish, you can use a Kyvac no-touch cleaning machine to neatly vacuum up the excess wax. It is safe to use a solvent to clean out the Kymotion for oil-based urethane finish. For more information on this and other products from Kyvac, call us at 1-800-287-1136 or visit our website at www.kyvac.com.
www.thepowerofpowerpoint.com.